What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, today I wanted to do a really quick DIY hack for your uh, battery bank for your solar panel system or wind power system. Uh, if you've ever bought these ring terminals before, uh, you know how expensive they are. Uh, you can get a four pack of these. Uh, generally you're going to spend the very least 10 bucks, but probably more like 15 or 20 bucks, um, especially factoring and shipping and so forth. So what I'd like to show you today is a little bit of a hack, and I can't claim credit for this this idea. This came from one of my uh, subscribers, but we're going to make our own ring terminals out of copper tubing. Okay, so first thing that you need for this is some copper tubing. Uh, you can get this from Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store. Um, this one in particular is half inch uh, diameter, and it's a pretty pretty heavy gauge. You want to get as big a heavy gauge as you can and you also want to make sure that it's solid copper because that will conduct electricity the best. So start with that. You could probably do 3 8 if you're using smaller um, terminals, smaller uh, cables, but since I'm using big heavy gauge wire I'm going to use the half inch. Um, we're going to need something to cut it with so I've got a hacksaw here and I'm going to use a miter box just so I can kind of hold it steady while I cut a straight line so we'll work on that first now you really only need about an inch uh, maybe slightly more but just just cut off about an inch inch and a quarter off of the end to start with okay now we have our piece cut off it looks like this so the next thing that we need to do is we need to to smash uh, into a flat piece one of these ends. Um, there's various ways you can do this. You can obviously use some sort of uh, pliers or something. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, crimper with this mallet and basically you just put it put it in there and then smack down on the hammer and it will it will put you know it'll it'll crimp it down on the end. So all we need is about three eighths to half an inch of flat space there that we can cut a, a hole in. Another method you could use if you don't have some uh, crimpers like I do is just use a, a vise and uh, clamp it in there where you want it and then uh, tighten it down. Now this is pretty thick gauge so it's going to require some, some effort so you might need to get a, a cheater bar so you can uh, get some more torque on it and really crank down on it but uh, all we need is just a flat so uh, a flat piece so however you get it there that'll work so what you should be left with will look something like this I uh, flattened a little bit more than I had intended to do but it doesn't matter uh, this will be plenty to uh, put to put the, the cable in and crimp it down later so the next thing and last thing that we need to do is, you guessed it, cut a hole. So measure the uh, the post diameter of your the the battery post on your battery. Get the appropriate drill bit, and then drill a hole right in the middle of that flat spot. Okay, here's the finished product. Now, obviously, this is not pretty. It's a little rough, you may want to sandpaper it up a little bit or something like that. But this will work. This is every bit as good, if not better, at conducting than the other uh, store-bought ones, which are typically copper clad, aluminum, or something like that. And the best part is this rod cost me about 12 bucks, I believe. It's an 8-foot rod. So I could literally get 90 or so of you know 80 or 90 easily of these of these pieces out of this one rod for 12 bucks and a little bit of my time um, so anyway that's the hack for today thanks for watching guys see you next time